Well, the New York Times has revealed a truly wild text message from uh, Tucker Carlson to one of his producers that apparently set off, as the article called, uh, called it a chain of events that led to his firing. This text message was uncovered in the lead up to the Dominion defamation lawsuit against Fox News, and apparently it is the straw that broke the camel's back in firing Tucker Carlson and contributed to why they suddenly settled in that moment we all remember um, with Dominion. So here's this being reported uh, from the New York Times, and then we'll discuss. It's pretty, pretty wild stuff. The title is Carlson's text that alarmed Fox leaders. It's not how white men fight. A text message sent by Tucker Carlson that set off a panic at the highest levels of Fox on the eve of its billion dollar defamation trial showed its most popular host sharing his private inflammatory views about violence and race. The discovery of the uh, message contributed to a chain of events that ultimately ultimately led to Mr. Carlson's firing. In the message sent to one of his producers in the hours after violent Trump supporters stormed the Capitol on January 6, 2021, Mr. Carlson described how he had recently watched a video of a group of men, Trump supporters, he said violently attacking an Antifa kid. It was three against one, at least, he wrote. And then he expressed a sense of dismay that the attackers like him, excuse me, were white. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable, obviously, he wrote. It's not how white men fight, he said. And we'll read this text message in full. Sorry, I'm holding in uh, a little bit of stuff there. Okay, a couple of weeks ago, this is Tucker Carlson's text to his producer. I was watching video of people fighting on the street in Washington. A group of Trump guys surrounded an Antifa kid and started pounding the living uh, crap out of him. It was three against one, at least. Jumping a guy like that is dishonorable. Obviously, it's not how white men fight. Yet suddenly, I found myself rooting for the mob against the man, hoping they'd hit him harder, kill him. I really wanted them to hurt the kid. I could taste it. He is a sick human being. Then somewhere deep in my brain, an alarm went off. This isn't good for me. I'm becoming something I don't want to be. The Antifa creep is a human being. Mm, you don't say. Much as I despise what he says and does, much as I'm sure I'd hate him personally if I knew him, I shouldn't gloat over his suffering. I should be bothered by it. I should remember that somewhere somebody probably loves this kid and would be crushed if he was killed. If I don't care about those things, if I reduce people to their politics, how am I better than he is? You're not. And... uh. There, I guess he's convincing himself back into being human being for a second. Just a disturbed person. Obviously, the stunning, blatant racism saying, I guess non-white people fight dishonorably, but white people fight honorably. Uh, it's, And that was the most watched cable news host. And as is being brought up by a lot of people, Fox News knew. I mean, this is what he put out on the air. It couldn't have taken that text for them to know that he was racist, right? And while, yes, the content of that text are bad, he spewed racist garbage like it for years on the air, and Fox News didn't care. A Mehdi Hassan show, what I was trying to get queued up here just a second ago, put together a compilation emphasizing this point about is that the text that indicated to you he was racist after years of spewing racist garbage on the air in public? And here is uh, multiple examples of that. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. There's no evidence that white supremacists were responsible for what happened on January 6th. That's a lie. We have a moral obligation to admit the world's poor, they tell us, even if it makes our own country poorer and dirtier and more divided. Demographics. Demographic. Demographics. Demographics. Demographic. Remember the Great Replacement Theory? Was it conspiracy theory? It sounds more like a statistical fact. Ilhan Omar is living proof that the way we practice immigration has become dangerous to this country. Congresswoman Ilhan Omar, herself a symbol of America's failed immigration system. Can a single human being actually be as loathsome as Ilhan Omar is? It's hard to believe. Diddy Montel Williams, you know, is something that's within her range of experience. Is she good at it? We can't say, she's, but she's done it. Just for masochistic reasons, can you do one more time? <laughs> 
So it might be time for Joe Biden to let us know what Kentaji Brown Jackson's LSAT score was. What else you do in the LSATs? They think that you should be elevated in America based on what you do, on the choices you make, not on how you're born, not in your DNA, because that's Rwanda. 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 We're still not precisely sure how George Floyd died. Very few unarmed black men are killed by white cops these days. Where's George Floyd when you need him? The only job training program this administration has gotten behind in two and a half years is getting black people to sell more weed in the cities. You never see politicians transition to say, Malcolm X, why is that? Maybe because Malcolm X didn't talk like a sharecropper. Xenophobia! It seems almost antique. This show, more than any other show on television, has taken an aggressive position in favor of colorblind equality and against racism. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly it wasn't the racism that caused Fox News to fire him, but maybe the specific nature of the racism in that text, plus all the other factors combined caused them to just decide uh, it was it was time to fire him. But uh, interestingly, a lot of the times the question we ask about these propagandists on networks like Fox News is, is this just a character that they're playing or do they authentically believe these wild things? And a big part of the Dominion lawsuit was saying uh, in, at least in regard to the election, it was just a character they were playing for the sake of viewership, these Fox News hosts, but they didn't believe that the election lies behind the scenes one bit. But when it comes to the racism with Tucker, we can say that this is a case where uh, the character he plays on screen, while yes, it's also designed to enrage viewers and thus keeping them watching, is aligned with his authentic, vile self. But all around, it, it is interesting to get a kind of clear picture of what went into the, what turned out to be a sort of stunning moment um, and decision by Fox News, even though, of course, it's something they should have done a long, a long time ago. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the extra bonus show on the weekends. And maybe if we get enough support, I can <laughs> go get this illness checked out and <laughs> figure out what's going on with my voice. You can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership.